Okay, hi everyone. Um, thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Basically Soap. And I'm here to make a activated charcoal soap, which is called Black is King. Okay, so I'm going to weigh out my water portion and um, weigh out my lot, not lie, but my oils, because I'm going to do the heat transfer method today. And so that's when you use the hot lye solution to melt all your hard butters and oils. And then you mix in your other liquid oils and additives and everything like that, like normal. It is something I've been doing for a little over a year and I haven't had any problems with it. It totally works. It actually saves time. And this is um, my actual, my third video today. Uh, I made lotion this morning. I made a um, batch of sea moss and turmeric soap and now I'm making Black is King. So let's get to it. And please guys subscribe and like my channel and click that notification bell so you are notified the next time I drop another video. It is greatly appreciated. I am new to YouTube. Um, I'm using my iPhone to do my YouTube videos. Like, I'm brand new. Brand new. Just bought a good tripod because my other one was crap. And it's funny because they were maybe like $4 difference, but I didn't see this one first. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. anything touching it to make the measurement be askew. Alright. So now I'm going to weigh out my hard oils and butters. And this recipe I use cocoa butter shea butter, olive oil, almond oil, coconut oil, and castor oil. So let me get my butters out. 21 ounces of coconut oil. <sighs> so this is the coconut oil I use. I get it from Costco. I'll probably speed this up. You might not even hear me say that. But I will definitely speed this up. When I'm editing, that this is taking a long time. Okay, here's my cocoa butter. But honestly, this brand, this plant group, Guru, I got this off of Amazon three years ago. 
but this is not what's in here anymore. What's in here, I got from Boca Apothecary. I got their 50 or 55 pound block and it is heavy. I have to break it apart. So what I do is I break it apart and I put it in here. So I use this as my container, but really I get my cocoa butter now from Bulk Apothecary. They had like a 15% off deal and um, it basically paid for my shipping because their shipping can be very expensive. I think it would have been like 20 something dollars, maybe $30 for shipping if I didn't have that coupon. So basically the 15% off was the shipping price. Now for these, kinda wanna, I think I'm gonna break some of it apart. So it's gonna be smaller. And um, what am I doing? What, why am I going in circles? So it can be smaller chunks to melt with the lye solution. Sometimes, it, especially as cocoa butter, it takes forever. I'm just using a butter knife, clean butter knife from the kitchen. But I don't want my weight to disappear. So let me get to it. This is my shea butter. I get it off, well, I get it, but I got it off of um, eBay. And it came in really large, I think five pound chunks. So I just cut those up and put them in Ziploc bags because it was just, you know, wrapped with saran wrap. And it really wasn't conducive for storage that way, especially if I'm going in and out of it periodically for making soap or lotion or some type of hair product. Let's see, how much shea butter? Okay, that piece. these in small chunks too so it doesn't take forever to melt I love shea butter. Mm, excuse me. I love shea butter, you guys. Like, I absolutely love it. 
is a must have in my skincare products. A must have for moisturization, like retainment of moisture. Oh, it is so great. So let's see. Okay, okay. All right, these are all of my hard oils. So let's see. Olive, castor, and almond. So as you can see, I am a big Costco customer. A lot of my soap ingredients come from Costco or in the beginning came from Costco. Hence the Kirkland olive oil. Best price of olive oil, period. $21 for two of these. Two of these, $21. Costco, has the best price for olive oil that I've seen. $21, you can't beat that. For These are three quarts. Well, actually three liters, because it's three quarts and 5.4 fluid ounces. So three liter jugs, two three liter jugs for $21. Best price I've seen. And I am a price junkie. I like the best price. I like sales. Like, I don't like cheap products. I like quality products for a low price. Oh my gosh, I went over dramatically. Let's see. What is my super fat? I wanna keep that, so. I'll just pour some of this back. I need 28, I'm at 32. There we go. So, castor oil, get this from Crafter's Choice, very good price, I think it was $13 for this gallon, let's see, I need, how many, I think I might, let me go see if I got, I got another one, let me go get it, because I might not have enough, okay, so, here's my castor oil again, Crafter's Choice, okay, Here's another jug, because I'm not going to have enough. Okay. I'm just going to, when I store this away, I'm going to definitely lean it on the side, because I want to get every morsel. I'll probably run hot water over it the next time I use it, so it can loosen up the oil, so it can run faster or run easier, be less viscous. Okay. And here's my sweet almond oil. Got this off of Amazon. They sold this, I think I paid like $16 for it. And um, now I can't find it under 20. Let's see how much. So I decided to shop around and guess where I found a gallon of it. I think it was about $25 for a gallon. I think this is 60, 64 ounces. So 
I've definitely been doing some shopping at Crafter's Choices. Uh, my, uh, I don't want to say most favorite, but, you know, it's free shipping when you order over $25. You know, they do a little fee for, I don't know, transactions or handling or whatever. They do a little 3 or $4 fee or something like that. But, and then they have great prices. Like, even I seen a sale in their shea butter. That was before I bought mine. I didn't have the money. But it was like two sixteen for 50, 50 um, pounds. And that's amazing. So, oh, I need my measuring of my... Still need my scale because I will be doing my line. Move these out the way. Oh, matter of fact, let me pour my additives in here. So in here is rice flour, which is good on the skin for lightening dark spots. I even think people use this as some type of lightening or lightener for their skin somehow. I'm not sure. I do have it in some of my soaps. I don't see my skin lightening, but um, I do see it clearing up. So, um, and it helps the soap become like, have a, be, have a smooth textured bar. And it also helps with fragrance, um, anchoring, and also my colloidal oils. So, put them in my liquid oils. And blend that up. Oh, no lie. Got my lie from Essential Depot by way of Amazon. Their price was better than in Central Depot, or it was their shipping was better because lye is expensive. It is expensive. I use sea salt that I get from Costco, and I use that to um, help harden my bars. But I don't use too much. I think it's two teaspoons in there. I don't use too much because I don't want to... Um, have crumbly bars, and I don't want it to inhibit my bubbles. So, 9.8 ounces. Where you go? I don't know my eight ounces. I don't know if I'll make it. Look how cute King looks. Eight point seven five ounces. This one. Sodium hydroxide I got from Dadu or Doodad website. I forget what it's called. I'm sorry, you guys. I have no idea what it's called. Like, I never used it before, but it's always a first time for everything. Hopefully, it doesn't fly. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in there, but I did add the salt to it. So now, let me stir it a little bit. It's 
it's it looks a little oily because I have oil on the spatula. Fix y'all there. into my hard oils. Now I'm gonna stir this up and I'm gonna let that water run into the lye can so it can neutralize it. Cause it's diluted, not neutralized, diluted while I'm stirring this all up. This is my fragrance, my essential oil blend, a star anise experiment. <laughs> all done, all melted you guys. Wow, that took a minute, right? I'll probably speed it up for y'all so y'all can't, you know, see. Let me get this little one. I just don't want any, you know, chunks of oil. Not chunks, but little bits of butter floating around in there. So this is my liquid oils with my additives blended in. And they kind of settled on the bottom. So I'm going to blend these a little bit before I add them. And then I'm going to add my milk. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, this has my there go, my liquids in there. So I'll just pour these in there. And I'm gonna scrape that. Like Katie Carson from Royalty Soaps. Y'all need to check out that channel. It is the bomb. Scrapey, scrapey, my containing. Scrapes away. Scrape this containing out. Let's see. I don't like this view, it's too close. Y'all are going back. Back up there. No. Don't want a too deep of a, a trace. No, just a light trace. Because I'm going to be kind of layering it. It's gonna be all black, but it's gonna have like um, silver and gold mica in it. I don't know what it's called, but 
Oh, silver and gold mica lines. All right, and now my activated charcoal, which I will whisk in there first. Just mix this. All right, this stuff is really porous or whatever it's called when it gets in the air so easily. So I'm gonna be back here with it and stir. I did about, I think two tablespoons and this is 70 pounds, I mean 70 ounces of oils. So just whisking it first. And I learned this technique, even though it's like I already knew about whisking and stuff, but I see how good you can whisk additives in and they incorporate better than if you stick blend them. Cause I've had instances where I stick blend, where I stick blend a color and then I get these little splotches in my soaps and I just don't like them. And I used to look up how to get rid of them, but then I was watching Ophelia, uh, Ophelia Soapery, her YouTube channel. Oh, she is freaking awesome, man. Freaking awesome. I don't think she's ever did a video where she spoke, but it doesn't even freaking matter. The soaps speak for themselves and she shows you all her steps. Like, she's amazing. Like, I really want to learn how to pipe roses and flowers, and she does an amazing job. And she's so creative. Oh, my goodness. So creative. All right. This seems good. Man. I'm going to just clean up a little bit, and I will be back. Okay, you guys. I'm back. So, I split mine. I mean, I'm thinking half, but no, this is wider. So this is going to be, this is going to be my bottom. This is going to be my top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick blend it more so it can get a little thicker because the last time I made this soap, oh my goodness, the essential oil blend that I had, I used a different one, but I still use Star of Anise. It slowed down my trace. Oh my gosh. Like... I was waiting for this thing to set up for like 45 minutes and I got to the point where I was just like tired and didn't want to wait anymore and so I just freaking textured it as best as I possibly could, did my mica lines as best as I possibly could and called it a day. Like I was freaking tired. I'm getting tired now. <laughs> This is thickening up nicely, so hopefully it won't take too long. And you know, stick blending helps uh, expedite that uh, motion. As you can see, uh, you can see it now. Let me see. You can see it now. Like, you can kind of see it. So, hopefully, that's good enough. Oh, this is, you hear that? Ooh. Yeah. So, this is my nurture soap, seven and a half pound mold. I'm probably, that's about halfway. Scrapey, scrapey. Do the scrapes. Scrapes. Do the scrapes. Scrapes. Let's do the scrapes. Oh, this smells so freaking good though. 
Oh my goodness. Y'all need to go to, what is it? Essential oil calc for your essential oil blend. And you can even submit your own blends if you want to share. You can submit your own blends and they give you recognition for them. And people can use them and contact you and tell you how wonderful your blend that you made up yourself is. And it gives you calculations and different blend calculations and how much to use for each um, essential oil. Oh, it's amazing. I found out about that from Katie Carson as well from Royalty Soaps. She had on a few years ago now, um, she had did an all natural soap or somewhat all natural, it was an activated charcoal soap and she used essential oils. Now she, that's not a normal thing for her to do since I've been watching her and I've been watching her for about four or five years. But, um, Yeah, she was on there talking about it, and she said that she uses that blend, um, their blend calculator or whatever it's called, use their blends to make up her own blend. And she really recommended it, the, um, that website. So let me get my mic up. My mica I'm going to use from Brambleberry Diamond Dust Mica. You know, it looks silver. What is that? Is that a piece of silk? That was stuck to the thing? Let's get that out. Let's see. Let's see how hard it is. Hmm, it's, it's good. No, this is, yes, yeah, it's going to be good. Not going to take all night. And I got these cool little um, tea things from Amazon. I think they were like $3 for three. Because you can, you know, put your mic in there and just, I love them. I love that concept. Like it took me so long, you guys, to find all of my equipment and different just like spatulas and things to use. Like you see them in these videos, but it's not like there's a one stop shop for um, a lot of this stuff. And if there is, like it is kind of maybe Walmart, but you don't even know about all of it until you're like in it. Like until you're in it. So. Do, do, do. Still a little loose, but I'm telling you, if y'all seen what it looked like my first one when I did the video, YouTube allows me to have that video up. Man, I was struggling. I may have edited like I wasn't, but I was. Like, I really really was struggling to make it look like anything I'm telling you guys sometimes you have hard days at this soaping stuff but it's still worth it like, So what I'm gonna do, I got my little thing. It's too big. My cat is asking me, can it eat? Hold on, buddy. And this, you know, or. And again, this is basically soap, black is king.
So can you see it? It's all these little crystals up in the air in my face. Let's see. Look at that. Hopefully it doesn't break through. Pray for me, you guys. Pray. But I try to stay healthy and take things that are going to be good to my immune system. Boost it, maintain it, help get rid of bad bacteria. Guys, my daughter just told me it's a full moon tonight. This soap went so much better with the setup. But this is my second time making it. So the first time I seen where I could have did better. So let me bring you close again for me doing my little divots or whatever you call them. And then putting my mica on in there. Oh, no, this is definitely not set up enough. So, I'll be back. Okay, everyone, I am back again. This is nice and stiff as it's going to be right now. It looks so, looks stiff in the middle and then on the edges. It's so liquidy still. It's like, look, it moves there. But, we're going to still push forward. I'm just, you know, making waves. Just making waves. gonna look cool with the mica the gold mica on it it's gonna look pretty cool no matter what and for the top i'm doing 24 karat gold mica from brambleberry Here is Black is King, you guys. <laughs> 